Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how we can customize our header. So if you remember from a couple of previous videos, you must have remembered that uh, we have talked about how we can create the shiny dashboards and some of the contents like uh, the menu items, the charts and tables and stuff like that and the controls to control the chart. And we created an application like this if I just go ahead and run the app this is the application we just created where we were able to dynamically control the content and created some of the tabs and you know the pages the menus related to it now the idea is that what we want to do is we want to customize this header to display uh, some of the good information like the messages you want to give it to your user or some information that you want to display as part of the messages. So right now uh, we will discuss about uh, how we can create the uh, static content and then uh, in the next video we will talk about how we can create uh, dynamic content uh, for the messages. So it will display somewhere on towards the right because that's how generally notification gets displayed. If you have seen for example Google's uh, messages or notification the bell kind of a shape is present at the top right corner of the screen and you can click on that bell shape and it will show you the uh, notification so that's the notification uh, let's say if you have you want to show it to the user then let's see how you can do it in a shiny dashboard so let me close this and stop the instance and put it a drop down and commit over here which is a dashboard header and if i just put two three enters to make some space and after that i'll put a comma and hit enter so first of all uh, the command that or the function that we need to write is drop down menu so if you just go ahead and enter this within the drop down menu you hit enter within that function you want to write the type is what what kind of type it is so see since we want to write or show the messages as a part of notification then we will write message and put a comma and after that we will write message item related to it as you can see uh, by default it has these functions so you just no need to do anything just keep on writing and it will display you the function automatically and within the message item you need to write from where the message has come so maybe you can say finance update and what is the message we are on threshold so that means uh, suppose this is a static message if you want to give that uh, maybe you are spending on budget and saying that we are on threshold then other departments who are looking at your dashboard can get that message that no no more spending needs to be done and we are right there on the threshold so that's the uh, assumption or the condition i'm just trying to make to to tell you uh, why these messages may be important uh, for your end users so let's go and uh, hit the run app to see what kind of information is coming so as you can see uh, the message icon has come and it is displaying one because we have just created the one message finance update by default it has chosen one icon which is a shape of a person and finance update and the message is we are on threshold so from is coming little bit in bold, uh, like from where it has come. And this is the message we are on threshold. All right. So that's very simple way of writing or displaying the message as part of your dashboard so that your dashboard becomes more and more interactive. Now let's go a little bit deeper and try to uh, further enhance it. So let's stop this instance. Maybe after that, you want to show another message, which is again you will write message item from is equals to maybe you can say sales update and message you want to give is sales are at at let's say 55 percent and need aggressiveness or maybe just if it is like going too big then just be there at sales are at 55 percent and maybe we can give a better icon this time to it icon is equals to 
I call and maybe the bar chart from font awesome library so if you know want to know more about it look at my previous video where I have discussed about how you can get more icons and details about it so after this if you want to display the time then maybe you can say time is equals to maybe it has come at let's say 10 or 22 00 if you are having uh, 24 uh, kind of a format 24 hours kind of a format but not uh, two hours so that's pretty much about it let's see uh, about what it is what kind of information we are getting so if you're heading the run app now we have two messages so finance update and sales update and icon is making it a little bit more meaningful and you can see the time that we are getting is 22 let's let now let's try to do a little bit more enhancement by stopping it and maybe create a third menu item message item and from sequels to uh, sales update message is equals to sales meeting at 6 p.m. on Monday let's say icon is equals to again go to icon and here in icon you can write so to get the icon maybe let's go to font awesome from where so this is the awesome.io library where we have a lot of icons and here uh, earlier I've chosen the bar chart maybe down here but uh, this time let's say we want handshake hyphen o so this is kind of a meeting and handshake is what we want to show it which is making a little bit meaningful uh, here in this case so let's go ahead and say handshake dot o i think that's the one handshake hyphen o yep and maybe this time you want to show that time is equals to let's say the date which is uh so right now it is march so maybe zero three and maybe let's say the next monday is on i don't know 25th probably 2017 all right and that's we are so idea is that you can show time and you can show date also you can here we have seen shown the bar chart and here we have shown showing the handshake hyphen o icon and here since we have not shown anything it has taken a person kind of an image by default so once you hit save run the app let's say what we are getting so now we have three messages and here we have sales update here we have the icon and it is making our dashboard looking much more professional that sales are at 55 percent sales meeting at 6 p.m on monday and 3 25 2017 is the time date you want to give so that's how you can create n number of messages that you want your end users to be updated about uh, via your dashboard